I still don't understand why it actually blacks the screen out when I start recording, but whatever. Steam did announce the living room hardware. Turn the volume down a little bit because that's way too loud for my face. And go into R&D. I don't... <laughs> all of these Steam, like, Valve announcements, and I just don't quite frankly care in the slightest. Everyone else apparently does, but I don't. Now we have to create a submarine for this mission. And I believe they give you the basic stuff to actually do it. Maybe? I don't remember exactly, but... Hmm. Let's get that researched. Let's get some basic engine stuff researched, and that's basically all I care about. And of course it unlocks the next freaking diesel engine. Of course it does. And then it unlocks Diesel 3! Game, how are you gonna keep doing this? A wooden submarine, indeed. Oh, you're the one translating it. Ah. I have no real interest in either Steam OS or the hardware they've announced. Not at the moment, anyway. And I'm gonna spend even more money doing that one. I won't do that one, though. That's going too far, game. At least I'm pretty sure this is a submarine mission. I mean, if it's not, then I'm a dangus. You know what, actually? It's not a submarine mission, is it? What am I smoking? It is a submarine mission. Okay, I was like, what? Why do I have none of the parts? But I do have the parts. I can, by the way... I'd like to point this out. Uh, you cannot research submarine holes at this point in the game. They just give you one. You can't actually R&D submarine holes, as it turns out. Steam OS will be interesting, in my opinion, if it causes developers to put more focus on Linux operating systems, because that's what it is. It's Linux. It can stream Windows games uh, from a Windows machine, but it itself is Linux. So, really, optimally, it would be good to have it running the games, and then put more emphasis on Linux development, and then and then things. Your Twitch chat stop updating. Let's look at torpedoes here, because we're gonna want probably that. spend a bunch of money on that. I could have got the seven barrel one, but really, you know, I don't think I can even fit a seven barrel torpedo launcher on this thing. If it causes developers to focus on Linux more heavily, uh, that would be good. I don't think it's going to, but hey. I don't think there's actually any of this stuff that I want. I should actually get better machine guns. So let's get those going. I don't want any of those, because they're garbage. I could keep getting better systems, because I don't have any of these. I mean, you know, an automatic fire extinguisher might be good. Hey, very good. Or that, too. Bow jet thrusters are pretty good. Get all of those. There we go. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And now we're gonna modify our submarine because A, it's garbage, and you know, B, it's garbage. So we're gonna modify it. There will be AAA titles running natively on Steam OS in 2014. Yes, but they didn't say what those AAA titles are. I don't really like AAA titles anyway, quite frankly. Rises to periscope depth. Movement is apparently now a submarine. So we need to swap these out for better... iterations of themselves. Problem, of course, is I don't know if we can handle the weight. We should be able to. Only just barely. 
So we, we can get this thing going 37.7 knots. What about double A titles? Hmm. I like a lot of the lower budget kind of things. Obviously this, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, I like indie titles. I just they they're just more willing to do things differently. That doesn't mean they do it well. They're just more willing to do it differently. Now I don't need this these ten centimeter guns. I'm just gonna straight up remove those. So let's replace. I'm not gonna use them. Don't care about them. Those I'm gonna replace. Anti mine torpedoes. I may as well keep on there. And we'll replace this. Or not. Oh, I got... You know what I got? Herp derp. I researched uh, torpedoes, but I didn't research underwater torpedoes. So I, I have torpedo launchers that I can't use. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to stick with this then. Plop that down there. We only have one. So our only weapon for this mission is a underwater torpedo launcher that has 128 rounds. How does one snuffle into the open? I'm just curious. Quite frankly, that's all we need, so we're rolling with it. And we need a mine detector system. That's all I really care about. And that is going to be our submarine. This is the best we can do for now. It still sucks, but hey. It's probably going to give us a submarine tutorial, which I should probably do. Uh, but I'm not going to. And we'll just wing it. And I'll see if I can figure out the controls. Look at it! It's a beautiful submarine. It's even very submarine-like. We have, uh, I'm gonna skip the tutorial, thank you. We've got a war going on in the chat here. By God, what has happened? And we start underwater. I think that's enough training. Absolutely none. All hands so, alert. Okay, so those are rise and sink. It's good. We're gonna go all the way down. Not quite that far. Go about there. Full speed ahead. And go. Prepare for the world's slowest mission at 18.9 knots, and they start you on the opposite side of the map. Woohoo! So on the right side here we have new UI, this is just for submarines. At the very bottom there, that is emergency depth. Uh, I don't believe you can do anything at that depth, but I also don't believe anything can hit you at that depth. Uh, the very top where it's a little bit thinner. That is periscope depth, so you can go up and actually use your periscope. There's actually... new transports here. Hello! Hello! Enemy transport ship sunk! Enemy transport ship sunk. It's like Silent Hunter, except I'm not very good at it. Enemy transport ship sunk. So those are all repair kits. I may as well grab those while we're here anyway. There we go. And back down we go. We. There's actually a cargo plane in this mission, I believe. That holds your loot. But we're not chasing that down. I think it's actually the plane that just passed us there. Could be. Who knows. Hoist the main sail. My submarine does have a tractor beam, yes. This is very dramatic music, considering how slow I go here. Hello, Jimoni! <laughs> Enemy ship sunk. In fact, this whole mission I should just be mashing the up buttons so we go slightly faster. But it makes that hideous sound. Also, it's really dark, I'm aware. We're in a submarine underwater, it's supposed to be dark. <laughs> I'm sure someone would have complained about that. Why is it so dark? I'm actually gonna leave those transports alone, because... There's a plane there. I don't know if this plane is a transport plane. 
Oh, there it is. No, that is in fact not a transport plane. So we're just gonna let that go by. And also try not to run into the ground. We're running into the ground. Stop it! <laughs> why, why does the ground exist? GameCube? Hey, I actually liked my GameCube, you know. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Well. Don't mind me. You know, no, plane, go away. I'm not here. Shush. I think that's an air, uh, airfield over there. Who bloody knows? Hello, Jemima. So we've got Jemoni and Jemima. Good lord. Enemy sonar sunk. I don't think you can sink sonar. You can sink the stations. Or, well, blow up the stations. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Ah, uh, shut up, game. What is that, actually? That's probably the sonar station, actually. Who knows? Best way to beat sonar is raise it above the water. This is partially true, yes. It doesn't work very well at that point. It still works, mind you. Sonar does still work out of the water. It's just, you know, not as useful as something like radar. I can just call you Jim if that makes things easier. I could, but then we have two gems. We have a, a Jemima and a Jemoni. <laughs> and it just gets confusing. This is why I hate this mission, by the way. Carrots greater than radar? Hmm. Not sure about that. This mission is just so slow. Run under a big tanker by going through its props. Multiple weak responses hurt dirt minefield. I know. Shush. Gems and gems. We do need more gems. This is true. Now, an alternative way to do this mission is to get underwater missile launchers, which is the way I would do it on the second run through, because I don't think you can get them the first time. Uh, and just park on the I other side. It. Yeah, shut up. And just park on the other side of the uh, island and shoot everything with missiles. It's a lot easier. So now there's like a million mines. Which is going to make this incredibly boring because I'm going to have to shoot a bunch of missiles over here. Full speed Not ahead. missiles. Underwater mine removal mine things, whatever. Secondary objective added. Sink three enemy submarines. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. There's a sonar over here. There's also a lot of angry boats over here, by the way. Like, really angry boats. Interestingly, you'll notice the main objective. I forgot what the main objective was. It says, sink ten vessels of the enemy fleet. Apparently the U-transports outside of the port count for that. Mine detected! Mine detected? Let me that crap. I don't like mines. Anti-sub netting! Good thing we went around the island on the right direction, so we don't have to worry about that. Mine detected. That is a torpedo. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Mine Pardon me. Please don't shoot my torpedoes down. It's very rude. Depth charge dropped. Brace for impact. And they're dropping depth charges. Yay! I can call you Mima or Mima. I like Mima better. Annihilate the ships before they can move out. Otherwise known as spam Stop the only engine. exit to the port with Death torpedoes. That's why you don't make one exit to your port. Jimoni makes you think of Michael Jackson. What? Like, what do you mean, of course, we've been picked up, you dinguses? I said sonar dropped. detected Brace ages ago. Impact. Please stop dropping depth charges on me. Brace for yeah, they're very angry about this currently. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. That's a dead angle. All of this is a dead angle. Impact. By God, we need Stop to it. move. Full speed ahead. Sir, Brace for impact. Stop that. Stop. Depth charge dropped. Brace for impact. 
Alright, the fools have shown me their rear. Now we can fire more torpedoes at them. Hooray, torpedoes! Apparently they have sonar. Who knew? Hello, Egos. By the way, Moomin and... Oh lord, they're shooting torpedoes at me. Moomin and uh, Egors, we win, are, are netting me quite a lot of money in Final Fantasy. And we will not be withdrawing quite yet, because we're going to see how many parts we can nab here. Keep in mind you can only nab stuff when you're uh, 50 or higher from the ocean surface or whatever. How did that miss you? How did that miss you? I basically just want to see if I can nab some more parts or something. Enemy ship sunk. And then we'll leave. You didn't drop anything. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Enemy ship I have to actually sunk. sink three submarines, which I don't really care about, because that would take like another four Death decades to get them. Funds! I like funds. Funds are my favorite. Hitting these boats with torpedoes is not my favorite. If you're curious, I just blew up a torpedo launcher. If you're curious, uh, those G7 or whatever boats, yeah, GY 71 foot, those are basically really small torpedo boats. This also appears to be stuck. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's leave. Good enough. Now, Don't want anything else to do with that mission. Aunt Jemima. Totally. I agree. Best syrup ever. I think just the way it's spelled, everyone's first inclination is to pronounce it like the syrup, which is Jemima. Especially people in America, because... Jemima is an actual name often used, especially in the South. Not anymore often used, but used to be used a lot. I got a B. I would have preferred an A, but whatever. Silver Swan. Murica, indeed. Murica for president. Wait, what? Laya was hot. Good lord, man. How do you pronounce Mimi? Mimi? That's an entirely different thing, though. If it was, like, Jemima, some people might pronounce Jemima. I think it's the uh, J-E at the start of it that makes people pronounce it Mai. And this is the Panama Panam 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 one. Mercia is a place in the UK, is it now? You weird UK and people. This is Guten Lake, Gatun Lake, whatever. You spawn there, there's like a million airfields, Panama Canal's over there. Herp derp. It's not a terribly hard mission, in fact it's actually a pretty fun mission. If you idle on the start screen, it's one of the missions it will cycle through. Or special forces that don't actually exist. It's basically just a timer. Large ships will likely have trouble moving in the area. You can take a carrier through this mission and have no problem. You Canadians, indeed. It's like Canadians except not. My neighbor used to be a Canadian. Or, er, well... <laughs> that sounds odd. The person who used to be my neighbor is Canadian. There we go. 
All hands to stations. And when he says on the double, he means let's go idle at the dock for a second. And then go research stuff. Yay, research! I'm gonna continue focusing primarily on main cannons as they unlock. So next goal is 25 centimeter. We need Battleship 1 for those, so this is the largest we get till Battleships. What is my hole made of? Uh, tissue. So we'll just go ahead and grab that. And let it research. We need better machine guns. Those are already researching. We need better machine guns. And I'm actually going to go ahead and force this to finish. Because we're going to use those. My hole is not made of marshmallow. It's made of other squishy-like objects. And... I don't think I'm even going to use launchers on the first run. I might. I kind of doubt it. I focus so heavily on artillery that it's kind of null and void. We can actually hit Cruiser 2. Or Cruiser 3 if we wanted UK. Did we want UK? It's actually one of the better, if not the best, ones. It's right. US is basically right there, it just weighs slightly more. So UK is actually the better one. I don't have the funds to do that though. We'll wait and then we'll grab ourselves a UK hull. Because why not? So we'll save our the rest of our money. And then we can upgrade our boat, 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 boat. Why do people keep typing test in the chat? What are you people doing? All right, let's upgrade our stuff here because we got new. Did we get new guns? I don't think I forced these. No, we have 15 and a half. So that's the same gun, we just need to upgrade these then. Hooray! Upgrade those to these, which is four times the damage, plus two barrels, so eight times the damage. Weighs more though. And we're overweight. Whoop. I'll just go 14, whatever. Totally not breaking the chat. Are you people breaking the chat? Is everyone's chat breaking? Because mine's not. Moderately confused about this. It's literally all we can put on this thing. I have researched what command is, by the way. Command is auto fire accuracy, as far as people are aware. Again, could be mistaken, but as far as people seem to be aware, aware command is auto-fire accuracy. People aren't talking all. <laughs> Answered that question for you. Current status of chat is chatterific. I don't know about the accuracy of that assessment, but we'll roll with it. Force your way through Panama. My throat hurts a lot, by the way, for anyone curious. So probably like an hour in, I'm going to need to desperately get something to drink. Before my throat explodes from possibly being ill, who knows? You! I don't think that's going to kill it. Let's see. No, didn't even hit it. They're hitting me, though. Freaking batteries in their accuracy. That pro dodge. Are you not dead? Okay, now someone else is shooting at me. Boats! Luckily, all the boats here are tiny boats, so... They're not a threat in the slightest. The only threat here are these freaking gun batteries that are everywhere. Kind of irritating. You like how the objectives break the fourth wall? Destroy the runway near the canal gates. That doesn't break the fourth wall at all. And of course, now there's freaking gun batteries. Stop it. 
What did I ever do to you? Other than kill your family. Your gun battery family. May as well blow up the radar as well. Doesn't really help me any, but, you know, I think there's a radar right here. No, that's just... Yeah, there is a radar there. Never mind. Who's still... Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, how are you doing there? If you have the patience, you can actually farm this mission. Because the aircraft have a chance to drop stuff. And they will infinitely spawn until you blow up the runway. But, you know, they kind of hurt. We don't exactly have OP vessel number two here. We do have better machine guns, though. And this is why I got them. Please stay away from me. No, don't drop bombs on me. Stop it. <laughs> Dropping bombs on me was not part of the plan. Being sick is no fun. You're still in the men from a cold. Uh, I'm fairly certain I'm getting sick. Because my throat just doesn't feel like talking. It'd be great if there weren't so many planes around. Let's see if they've dropped anything around behind me. Doesn't appear to. See, they dropped funds. So if you really wanted to, you could farm the crap out of this mission. Just get really good machine guns all over your boat. Who is shooting at me? Apparently there's a battery back there. Um, I can't shoot at the battery. Well, I'll just sit here and tank it with my face, I guess. Next best thing. My guns aren't targeting it because it's behind the stupid hill, so the guns are targeting the hill. Quick, evasive maneuvers. Let's blow up this airfield, actually. Tip number one, blow up air bases. It makes the game about a million times easier. I haven't even hit the air base. What is going on here? There we go. It will spawn infinite numbers of bombers that will all try to murder your face for the rest of time. And they're pretty darn good at it. Pro tip, shoot stuff. Yes. I mean, you can use your main cannons to kill them, and it'll one-shot them, but it's still not dead. Okay. But they're not really very accurate against planes. I just love the machine guns firing at everything. It looks kind of cool, man. And the cannons are shooting at me. I just like the feel of this game. Let you build stuff, and then you run around and kill stuff with it. It's all all good times. I think I need to pick up machine gun ammo. Because I've already burnt through metric crap tons of it, and we're not even nearly done yet. I don't believe you get any bonus score for blowing up radar, but whatever. It's not like it takes very much to kill them. It does help when I actually hit what I'm aiming at, though. There we go. This is what our country does when they go through random, you know, non-affiliated territory like the Panama Canal. We just blow everything up. And our objective is over there. There's also fortresses over there. Which have really big guns. You might notice by the range at which they're firing, they are in fact very large guns. We'll go over there soon. There's another airfield over here. There it is. That I want to kill. Basically just to kill it. Machine guns, why are you so inaccurate? I mean, seriously, you let them get a bomb off. What do I, f what do I pay you people for? Ow. I don't pay my gunners, by the way. For anyone curious, don't shoot at the plane game. There we go. And then once this airfield is down, basically the only thing left is Panama Canal. I think there's a fleet of boats somewhere, maybe? I guess not. You, sir! I have bullets. 
There you go. Ooh, funds. Stop engine. Reverse engine. 